good day everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a CAPE integrated mathematics question in module one of the syllabus, which is foundations of mathematics. I am focusing on the trigonometry section and the topic is solving trigonometric equations. So here we have our question, solve the equation two cosine of theta plus three pi over four radians is equal to one for the values of theta where theta is greater than or equal to negative pi, but less than or equal to pi radians. All right. So before I get into the question, let me just remind you about the four quadrants. So in the first quadrant, right, we have the angles that is greater than zero radians, but less than pi over two radians, right? Pi over two radians is equivalent to 90 degrees. So the angles in the first quadrant is greater than zero degrees, but less than 90 degrees. All right, that's the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. Sine, cosine, and tangent, right? Those are the trigonometric functions that you have discussed, and those are positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, we have the angles that is greater than 180 degrees, but less than 90 degrees. All right, sorry, the angles that is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, my error. All right, and that's the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, only sine is positive, meaning that tangent and cosine is negative. All right, in the third quadrant, we have tangent only being positive, so all the other trigonometric functions in the third quadrant will be negative. And in the third quadrant, we have the angles that is greater than 180 degrees, but less than 270 degrees. In the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive, And the angles in the fourth quadrant are greater than 270 degrees, all right, but less than 360 degrees. So let us now get into the question. So let me write solution here. So they have given a two cosine of theta plus three pi over four radians. And that is equal to one. So the first thing I'm going to do is to divide both sides of the equation by two. So I will get the cosine of theta plus three pi over four radians equal to one over two. All right, so I just divided both sides of the equation by two, and this is now my equation. My aim is to find the values of theta. All right, so I have cosine of theta plus three pi over four radians equals one over two. So I can now apply the inverse cosine function. All right, so to get theta plus three pi over four radians, I will have to take the cos inverse of a half. All right, the cos inverse of a half. Now we have theta plus three pi over four. Now, with the calculator, remember now that you need your answers in radians. So you need to put your calculator in radian mode whenever you're calculating your angles in radians, all right? So when you put your calculator in radian mode and you plug in cos inverse of a half, you will get 
pi divided by 3 radians. All right? Now, the problem with the calculator is that the calculator gives you the smallest value. All right? It doesn't give you the other values of theta. So we need to go back up here now and see how we can find the value of the other value of theta. All right? So the value that they gave us is pi divided by three. All right, that's 108 degrees divided by three. And we know that is 60 degrees. Now that 60 degrees is in this quadrant here. All right, the first quadrant. Because we know that the angles in the first quadrant is greater than zero, all right, but less than 90 degrees. Now I need to find the other angle. All right. Now remember that the value that we got is pi over three radians, which you know is a positive value. And we know that cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. All right. So my other angle is supposed to be in the fourth quadrant. All right. So the way how we calculate it is this. If the angle that you got is called alpha, then to calculate the angle in the fourth quadrant, we will calculate it using two pi radians, two pi radians minus alpha. All right, that is what we'll be working with. Now, in case you need the other, the other um, calculations when you are working with other trigonometric functions, let me just remind you of them. So to get the angle in the second quadrant, that's going to be 180 degrees, right? Or pi radians minus the angle alpha. And to get the angle in the third quadrant, that is going to be pi radians plus alpha. All right, let us now calculate the other value. So we know that we're gonna have two pi minus alpha. In this case, our alpha was pi over three. And if you put this in a calculator, it should simplify to five pi over three. All right, so what we have is that equation Right, so theta plus three pi over four radians is equal to pi over three radians, or, or, let me write it down here, or theta plus three pi over four radians is also equal to five pi over three. All right, so we need to solve these equations separately to find theta. So let me solve the first one, all right? So if theta plus three pi over four radians is equal to pi over three radians, I can now say that theta is going to be equal to pi over three radians minus three pi over four radians, all right? I take the three pi over four radians and put it on the right-hand side, it will become a negative. Now, if you put this in the calculator, you will get negative five pi over 12 radians, all right? Uh, or let me calculate the other value. So we have theta plus three pi over four radians is equal to five pi over three radians. So I will now have theta is going to be equal to five pi over three radians minus three pi over four radians, all right? This three pi over four radians is positive. So when I carry it to the right hand side, it becomes negative. Now, if you plug this in a calculator, it should simplify to 11 pi over 12. All right, so those are the values that we got. Now, let's go back to the question. Remember the question said, theta lies between this interval. Let me highlight it. All right, theta lies between that interval. So theta is greater than or equal to negative pi radians, but it is less than or equal to pi radians. In other words, in degree, we can say that it is 
greater than or equal to negative 90 degrees, but less than or equal to, sorry, greater than or equal to negative 180 degrees, but less than or equal to 180 degrees. All right, so let us go back to our answers. We have negative five, we have negative five, five over 12 radians, right? That is equivalent to negative 75 degrees, right? And that is in our interval, so we're good there. And the other value that we got is theta is equal to 11 pi over 12. And in degrees, that will be 165 degrees, all right? So clearly that is also in our interval, all right? So I'm not going to write a, a final statement. So since negative pi radians is less than or equal to theta, which is less than or equal to pi radians, the solutions are theta is equal to negative five pi over 12 radians and theta is equal to 11 pi over 12 radians, all right? And those are our solutions for this trigonometric equation. I hope this video was of help to you. If it was, please ensure to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment down below. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.